So shrinkage is essentially the decrease in concrete volume. over time. And it's typically due to some kind of water loss. So uh, there are three main types of shrinkage. We have autogenous shrinkage, we have uh, drying, and we also have chemical shrinkage. So autogenous shrinkage is caused by cement hydration. So essentially water is lost as the cement is hydrated. Uh, drying is uh, water is lost from the uh, interior concrete to um, the ex exterior. So this uh, is affected by the ex exterior relative humidity. And then we also have chemical shrinkage. And this is essentially our hydration products, or as our hydration products react with uh, CO2. Uh, and they, they de decrease in size. Uh, so when we model shrinkage, uh, like any other deformation-based uh, phenomenon, uh, shrinkage is driven by some kind of pressure or force. In this case, we're going to say it's driven by some factor times a water pressure or poor water pressure. Uh, it's resisted by some kind of uh, spring um, or modulus, and in this case uh, the, the uh, elastic modulus of the concrete is going to resist it. Um, this means that our shrinkage strain will be dependent on the stress Uh, divided by the modulus. So a larger modulus is going to result in a smaller shrinkage or a, a larger uh, water pressure uh, due, to, due to water loss will drive a larger amount of shrinkage. 